We're making a very simple Maltese traditional recipe using rabbit meat and we're having a look at the recipe. The rabbit in this recipe is cooked in wine and garlic and I'm going to use a kilo of rabbit cut up into pieces, about 300 ml of red wine, a head of garlic, four tablespoons of olive oil, an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon powder or a whole cinnamon stick, an eighth of a teaspoon of dried margarine, a tablespoon of tomato puree, an eighth of a teaspoon of lemon zest, two bay leaves, a stock cube, some cooking spray and some salt and pepper. We're going to have a look at our fresh ingredients. We've got here a whole rabbit which my butcher has chopped up and we've removed parts of the rabbit but basically we're using most of the parts of the whole carcass and rabbit meat is very healthy it's very healthy because it's low in fat low in saturated fat and low in cholesterol and it's got about 130 to 135 calories every 100 grams so it might be some something worthwhile for those who are trying to reduce their weight too. We've got the rabbit pieces. I've also got some fresh parsley, some bay leaves, a stock cube, a whole head of garlic. I'm going to chop this up and then put it in whole and then lift it out at the very end. Some tomato puree, cinnamon sticks, black pepper, I'm adding some bacon and I've got some bacon cut up into chunks and that's my dried herbs and my lemon. I'm going to cut a piece of lemon zest and then also lift it out right at the very end. I'm going to start by marinating the rabbit in wine. You can use white wine or red wine, whatever may be available. So I've got the rabbit here, all marinated with some bay leaf and cinnamon. We've also added a bit of lemon rind, uh, salt and pepper, and a whole head of garlic, some bay leaves too. And I'm going to cover that up with some cling film and place in the fridge for a few hours or overnight. I've got my bowl of marinated rabbit meat and we're going to start cooking it. It will need about an hour on the stove, but it's a very easy and straightforward recipe. I'm going to start by turning on my hob, and to that I'm going to add some olive oil. Around two tablespoons. And I'm going to heat it, heat it on a high heat and then start to fry the rabbit pieces. To avoid adding more oil, I'm going to spray each piece of rabbit meat with some cooking spray. I'm going to make some space and then I'm going to add the small pieces of pork, of bacon. And 
and some dried herbs. I'm going to add some bay leaves. A stock cube. I'm using garden vegetables. And a whole head of garlic. In fact, I've sliced the top bit off. Some parsley leaves. And a piece of lemon zest. Once the rabbit has browned from one side, I'm going to turn the pieces over. I've made a bit of a gap in the middle and I'm going to add my tomato puree. With that also, the wine from my marinade. And I'm going to top the wine up to 300 ml by adding some extra wine. Now we're simply going to leave that on a lower heat. I'm going to cover it up and leave it on a simmer for an hour. Our rabbit's been simmering for an hour, so it's time to serve. It's usually served with fresh vegetables or some marrow peas. I've seen it with french fries, or I like to serve it with Maltese roasted potatoes with fennel seeds and some fresh salad. I'm simply going to top it up with some of the gravy and the bacon lardons. Finally, a spray of olive oil, just for flavour. And to add the oil very sparsely, some parsley leaves, flat leaf parsley. you try out my Maltese recipe for rabbit cooked with garlic and wine. <laughs>